Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. Today I'm with Frank Sellen and Frank and I are gonna walk through an 11 unit building that he just purchased in Moncton, New Brunswick. He's gonna walk us through how he was able to acquire that building and the process he's going through right now to get it all renovated and rented out. Uh, before we get into it with Frank, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And without further ado, let's get into it. Frank, thanks so much for being here. It's great to see you again, my friend. Um, why don't you give us a quick introduction on who you are and what you do as a real estate investor? My wife and I joined Keyspire back in November of 2019. Um, we were, I was looking, it's a couple of years I've been looking at uh, investing in real estate. We purchased um, a couple of properties. We purchased a property initially in, Mon in Montreal. Uh, that's where I'm from, from Montreal condo uh, really great property uh, super story in itself um, then at that point we started looking for investment properties so multiplexes uh, in Montreal you know the multiple offers thing was just too much for us we weren't interested in, in beating ourselves over the head over this we looked out east uh, we had heard a lot about uh, good properties uh, affordable housing and everything out of east and uh, decided on Moncton uh, there were a couple of options it was Halifax St. John um, Halifax, another market like Montreal. Uh, so we, we basically, uh, look more at Moncton where things were a lot better. Uh, cash flow was there and the four ways to win that Keyspire taught us, uh, was really there. You've been busy. I know you've acquired a couple units buildings in the last little while. So run us through a little bit of your, your portfolio that you've acquired since, uh, since November. On March 16th, we, um, uh, basically bought the condo in Montreal. And then uh, from there, we found the property, a sixplex in Moncton on uh, July, uh, July 4th, or that we closed. Uh, and then we found the 11plex, which was an amazing deal, and closed on that in October 10th. So that's our flagship right now. And that's, uh, that's where we're at. Um, we had initially, back in January, we had um, done a, uh, we'd remortgage the house. So the house was paid, so we used all that money to to buy all of these properties and mm. our portfolio five times uh you know it's not paid but in 20 years from now the you know the properties will be paid so 18 doors in um about you know, just under under a year that's pretty impressive yeah. uh, initially when we refinanced the house we went through a, a mortgage broker and the mortgage broker when i said well I'd like to be you know have 10 million dollars worth of properties in 10 years and he looked at me and said, disappointed, oh, a little disappointed. I said, disappointed in what? He said, only 10 million? And, you know, I thought that was a joke at the time. And right now, I'm, geez, could probably do 10 million in three years. You know, yeah. it goes really, really fast. And I love your model. I love that you're going after cash flowing markets. Um, and that's why you're in Moncton. And you're actually in Moncton right now working on your building. Yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about uh, this 11 unit building. How did you uh, acquire it? Um, and, and let's start from there. We're able to build up a really good team. We worked, uh, we found an excellent uh, realtor um, and property manager. Um, and from there, uh, things just flew. Uh, found us this property. It was actually under contract when we looked at it, uh, but the gentleman that had it under contract, uh, for some reason wasn't able to close. Uh, he had been under contract for over four or five months and the owner just got fed up. And, at, you know, on his last offer, he said, okay, okay, we're going to take it, we're going to take it, but we just need another three months to close on it. And the owner said, no, he pulled the plug. I right away, I said, yes, I'll do it. And the owner wasn't sure anymore. The prices were going up in Moncton. So he was, you know, thinking maybe I'm just going to hold on to it. So I said, well, here, I'll offer him, tell him if he signs this week, I'll offer him an additional $5,000. And so basically we, we ended up getting it for $690,000 instead of six eighty five. And why did you choose Moncton? Like, what was the, how did you settle there on that market? Or was it just a simple numbers game? Uh, basically, Moncton is in the center, geographically is in the center of the Atlantic uh, region. So it's become the hub of um, the Atlantic, uh, you know, New Brunswick, uh, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. And um, it's, a, it's a very high tech city, believe it or not. Uh, probably Canada's top fiber optic infrastructure. So they're, they lend themselves very well to companies like uh, call centers and um, uh, logistics companies that use this high, they need the high internet that, that fiber optic provides. And Moncton's got hospitals, I think it's two universities, uh, a very bilingual city. It's one of the top bilingual cities in Canada. 
uh, one of the fastest growing cities in Canada as well. Uh, uh, prices, uh, affordable housing, safe neighborhoods. Um, there's nothing bad to say about Moncton. Uh, so it's, it's really a, a nice place to invest. Yeah, be careful you talk it up too much. You'll have a whole bunch of investors out there. Yeah, better friend. stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, so. just stop there, my friend. That sounds good. Wait, oh, go to St. John. That's a great place, you know. <laughs> um, but we're going to dive into the numbers a little bit, if you don't mind, because you sure. mentioned, I think you said 690. Is that what you were able to acquire this building? Yes, for? We, uh, initially the property was going for 700. Uh, the person that was holding on to the that, that was going to buy it, uh, had negotiated him down to 685 because there was so much new renovations to do and this and that, but he had overestimated his renovations. He had, you know, from what the owner was telling me that like, it was ridiculous amounts of renovations. We paid it 690, uh, mortgaged it to, uh, with the uh, Royal bank, great bank manager is uh, my best friend right now. Um, he's, uh, we basically mortgaged it at 75%. The numbers work very well. Uh, cash flow, as it is now, with no renovations, is about fifteen thousand dollars a year. So, nice. bad, uh, not a bad cash flow. But obviously, the renovations are going to transform this building tremendously. Um, it's in a decent neighborhood, a very upcoming neighborhood. Uh, you know, mind you, everything in Moncton is kind of upcoming. Once the renovations are finished uh, on the eleven units, we should probably raise. Uh, the property value from 690 to 1.1 million, um, 1 1.2 even. And, um, you know, so I'll be able to get, basically go back to the bank, refinance the whole thing, get all my money back. Because uh, we put in all our, you know, or not all our money, but we put in our money in there. And um, so the building would be basically free, you know, free and clear. And obviously we'll gain a lot, you know, a lot of equity. Cash flow should go up to about between fifty and sixty thousand dollars a year. Fifty and sixty. Fifty to sixty, yeah. So it's, wow. uh, it's really, uh, like I said, it's a flagship for me. Is this is a great property? They're not all like this, uh, you know. But there's there's some really nice properties in Moncton, but right now the market in Moncton is. Uh, you were saying, you know, to tell people that how good Mark Moncton is. Well, people already know how good Moncton is because there's a <laughs> lot in Moncton, and they're starting into the multiple offers and whatnot. So. Um, that's why, you know, the, the realtor becomes really important in that to try to find you off market deals and whatnot. Can we, can we dive in and break those numbers down a little bit? I want to just, um, you said 690. So I broke that down. It's about 62, $63,000 per door. Was right. that kind of your, your target that you were looking at? And what's, what's the rent, uh, or the current rent on a $62,000 unit right now? So your, your rents will go anywhere between, um, 750 with no electricity to, I guess, $1,200 with electricity. What are the units in your building renting for the ones that are, that you've acquired? Well, the ones I, I have like five units that are 600, 650, uh, 700. I've got one that's uh, 1200. Um, that was, uh, it was actually um, the one unit that I'm probably not going to renovate because it had a about five years ago. So the insurance had renovated that apartment completely. So it's, you know, so five-year-old renovation, basically. Um, and they're going for 1200 So I'm hoping to bring everything to more or less $1,200. Uh, right now, there's zero vacancy in, in Moncton, so it's very feasible to do. I mean, it was very underperforming. The owner wasn't taking care of it. Uh, the apartments are very dated. Um, I think the last time they renovated must have been 20 years ago. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. But uh, the whole, I figure the whole renovation package might cost me anywhere between seventy-five to one hundred thousand um, dollars total. Total. Even at one hundred thousand dollars, you're you're ten thousand dollars per unit, right? On on the rental yeah. cost, approximately. Yeah. Um, and so you're you're acquiring for around sixty-three, let's call it, putting in ten thousand. Um, and you're after repair value. You said in the in the one point one range. Is that what you were kind of hoping for? Uh, the bank has actually evaluated, like I went through the numbers with my bank manager and he said that if the rents go to 1200, for example, or they all go to 1200, I'm looking at probably 1.175. So that's 1.2. And if I listen to, uh, to my coach, John Brooke, he said that it was $1.6 million because of the cap rate. But, um, unfortunately that's uh, the realtor told me now that's not. 
Well, and yeah, and the bank, the bank will always uh, overrule your coach, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah. like, I like. You might be able to sell it. You know, it's got a, a great cash flow at the end of it, so yeah. you might be able to sell it at one point three, one point four, even. I love that you basically bought it for sixty three thousand a door. You're putting ten thousand dollars per door in renovation. You're in for seventy three, and when you're done, your units are going to be worth a hundred thousand dollars. So you got a thirty thousand dollar lift pretty much on every on every unit. And if you go in at at seventy five percent loan to value, like you say, you're going to be able to get on a hundred thousand dollar unit seven hundred seventy five thousand dollars in financing. So basically, you're you're cashed out at the end. You have no capital left in this transaction. And you're able to almost double your rents from six hundred and fifty to twelve hundred dollars in some cases. So it's it's no wonder that this is a, a home run for you, and this is a, a model that you want to repeat over and over again. Um, tell me a little bit about your financing rate, because I know people are going to ask about that. What are you paying? What are the commercial rates right now that you're able to secure on this transaction? I took a uh, a rate uh, one year rate when I um, initially looked at it. Um, it's not CMHC. You know, Royal Bank. Uh, I got it at two point five, um, which is not the best rate. But in all honesty, it was only a one year rate, and the idea for that was not to have a five year rate where then I'd have to break the mortgage and refinance it and pay a ton of uh, fees. Given the pandemic, given all of that, I can't see the government raising the, the you know the, the prime rate. And if that doesn't go well, they're not going to raise the rates. So you know, I think the will stay pretty even. And I'm hearing actually right now, um, you can get rates at 1.8, 2%, um, you know, and probably if you go through, you know, I might go through the same HC process and try to get a really good rate, but it's all, it's all in the future. I have no, I'm not at at that point yet uh, kind of thing. The main thing is to get the, the units, re you know, renovated. I'm hoping to do uh, four or five on this trip and then come back again and do the other four or five so by my my mortgage is up in june so by june i'll be able to just refinance and go back to the bank and just get the evaluation basically so why did you decide to go out and actually physically um renovate was it a situation where you were having a hard time finding a contractor or was it just something that you wanted to do for the knowledge or maybe a mix of both free skilled labor or not not free in the money wise but uh, available free labor because there, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff going on and there isn't uh, this isn't Montreal or Toronto or, or Vancouver I mean there you know the, there's not that many contractors uh, had a heck of a time finding a roofing uh, guy finally got like a, one of the top roofers in, in town paid a little bit more maybe maybe a thousand dollars more but he's going to repair it in the spring but he's going to maintain it during the winter so I don't have any leaks or whatnot so as I grow this portfolio for sure I'm not going to do uh, you know I might do this unit I'm not even sure when I come back in the spring that I'll be doing them alone I probably won't I'll probably have a team at that point you learn a lot uh, you learn how to manage it you learn how to you know to take care of it you learn how to uh, the costs involved uh, what there is involved and that was I guess my third hidden reason uh, I'll give you an example the plugs the electrical plugs need to be changed it's not because they don't work, they work, but they're old plugs, painted over, uh, nailed. I mean, they, they've done so much damage to these plugs at this point that it's just putting nice new plugs will make this place look, you know, that's what will give you the, the actual uplift so that you can rent it at, at the 1200 level because, you know, you can't rent this right now at 1200. So, you know, I guess a mix of all of those, those things is what uh, made me come down. What do you think is the biggest uh, learning lesson you've had so far, either in your journey or on this property specifically? Uh, expect the unexpected. Uh, I guess there's a, there's a big learning curve in terms of, of the construction side of it. So that was a, that was a big lesson. And, uh, and I think the best thing, the, the most thing, the thing that got me going the most was the, the idea of uh, you can do it. It's not complicated to paint a wall. It's not complicated to, uh, to put click flooring or vinyl flooring on the floors. You know, it's just a matter of knowing what to do. And uh, your best friend is Google. You can go see Google and they'll tell you how to do it. You know, so it's, it's, really, it's really just the, the hardest thing, I think, is the organization of everything together. Uh, it's not Google, Frank. It's uh, YouTube is your best friend, right? YouTube is my best friend now. Yes, it is. <laughs> the Darren Barra show. 
<laughs> That's right. I, I, I call it the Darren Barrel Show. I think. <laughs> uh, well, this is. A, I love this transaction. I'm so glad we were able to walk through it. Uh, you know, purchasing for six ninety, putting about ten thousand in per unit. Uh, value worth of around a hundred thousand dollars after you're done. Fifty thousand in cash flow per year that breaks out to about four thousand dollars per month. And you own this one hundred percent outright. You don't have any partners on it. One hundred percent on this one. Yeah. Yeah, and I love and, that too. That too. Just to put a little point to, uh, uh, you have to remember, Darren, that I'm doing the, the labor. So that's why the, the renovation costs are a lot cheaper. Obviously, I'm not calculating my time and, and energy and whatever. Uh, if you were to do it with the contractor, I'm sure those costs go up. Uh, but it's, a, it, you know, Moncton is a nice market. Um, you don't have to worry too much about uh, raising rents, obviously. Uh, There's no rent control in, in um, New Brunswick. Uh, there is. However, um, it's very uh, business friendly. So you can raise the rents, whatever you want, but you have to do it. There are certain rules and regulations that you do have to abide by. Uh, and if somebody has been here for over five years and you have different rules, uh, you know, there, there are, you have to know the ins and outs <clears throat> of what's going on in this market, because uh, for sure, you know, you come in and you think, oh, I'm just going to change everything. And, you know, I saw Frank, Frank and Darren's YouTube video and, and he said he could you could do anything and it's not true you can't do everything uh there are rules and regulations they're just a little uh, more friendly to business than they are to the, the tenants you know frank uh thanks so much for walking us through this transaction um i think it's a like you say it's a home run it's your flagship property uh probably not for long at the rate you're going there's probably going to be the next one right after this but i, I think, want bigger uh, now yeah absolutely yeah. right once you do these 11 unit buildings you your next thing you want to do is go to 22 and 33 and wherever else you want to go from there. And I have no doubt that you'll be able to do that. If you guys enjoyed this session with Frank, go ahead and hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me or for Frank. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenboros.com. With that, I'll say, Frank, thanks so much for being here, taking some time you, out of your day. I know you're really busy right now and you're going to get back to your renovation. I yep. wish you the best of success on this one. And hopefully I look forward to seeing you at some point in the future when we can uh, get back together in person. But good luck out in Moncton and, uh, and have fun. And we look forward to catching up in the spring. Maybe when you're done this building, we'll, we'll do a little walkthrough. Absolutely. And you're welcome to come down if you want to give me a hand or whatever by any chance. Because I know you know how to hold a hammer. And, so. <laughs> and, I, might be, I might be a little tied up for the next six months. Uh, but a little bit, <laughs> Thanks, Frank. Have, have a nice day. Thank you. You too.